to the Motorsport Coaching Podcast, sponsored by Motivate Training and Management. This is the podcast where we talk to drivers and industry experts to help you maximize your performances on and off the track. Let's get started with today's show. Hey guys, welcome to episode 85 of the Motorsport Coaching Podcast. I am your host, Belinda Risley, and today we are heading back to the Junior Drive at Summit that we held earlier this year online. Our presentation today is with Stuart Walter, sports hypnotherapist with the heading of getting your head into racing. Normally I say get your pen and papers and enjoy the show. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I am saying grab your helmet, grab your race suit and grab your cup of tea and your notepad, of course. And I hope you enjoy this show. Thank you for everyone who's subscribed to the podcast. We are slowly but surely growing and, of course, heading up to our 100th show. We do have some things changing, brand new presenting, joining us very shortly. Some amazing guests coming up soon and, of course, our 100th episode. Of course, any time that you need any assistance on your motorsport journey, please feel free to get in contact with us over at motivatetraining.com.au. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hello, everyone. Stuart Walter here. We are live, I believe. We are up and running. I am the athlete's secret weapon. Please use the, uh, what do we got there? Use the comments underneath, use the chat, and we can get some bit of interactive work going on here. So, yeah, as I said before, I'm the athlete's secret weapon, number one. Uh, thank you to Belinda for allowing me to come in and play. Now, I have got a lot of experience now working with athletes. I've got 38 world champions I work with, and my specialties work with mindset. So I'm not a physical trainer. I'm not a nutri- nutritionist. I'm not the branding person. I'm not the video person. I'm a specialist in mindset. So that's pretty much what I do. So I'm going to get going and and start this process because we're, we're into it now. We're all up and running. And, yeah. What I have done, Belinda has kindly sent it through. She sent through all the details for what you require today. So if you haven't got it already, please go out, grab your helmet and also pen and paper, a couple of bits of paper and pen or pencil because we are going to be doing some interactive stuff. Now, what I have designed, I've designed for you a quite an interactive process. Now, this is the same process as this is what I'm doing as far as working with elite athletes. Now, a couple of names of drivers I've already worked with, you probably recognise the name Matt Campbell. Matt Campbell, Porsche factory driver. Yes, I worked with him back in his days before he even got into Formula Ford. Worked with him all the way through. Um, incredible guy, incredibly focused. And the processes I use with Matt... I've also then followed up using with Jackson, Jackson Evans. So you obviously understand Jackson Evans, obviously now Porsche Junior Factory Driver. Also worked with Hunter McElroy, who won the Formula Ford a couple of years ago. He's in the Manchester Road to Indy and the next level up this year, well, if it gets racing. So I've worked with a lot of elite athletes. I've worked with a lot of uh, drivers. And every driver, to some extent, is, um, is, is the same. Okay, we all work exactly the same way our brains work exactly the same way so let's just basically get it all happening so we are operational we are going and yeah so please pen and paper very handy because we're going to get into it there's two components to this now i'm going to just keep referring to the same bits of paper that you've got so just please feel to feel free to have a look and have a listen okay i've got all these messages coming through just bear with me um Am I good to go? Well, I think I'm actually operational already. Uh, just just one moment, please, everyone, if, if anyone's listening to this. Um, you need to be added. Just bear with me a sec. I'm just going to message Belinda saying, I think I'm actually live. So can anyone just send me a quick message just to make sure that this is operational and you're actually hearing all this? Yep, okay, Erin, thanks very much. Thank you. I'm just getting messages from Belinda saying I'm not in the group. I need to be added. Okay. Hi, Nora. Yep, Stella, good, thank you, we're live, so excellent. I'll just keep going. I'm not sure what these messages are for Lin- from Belinda are saying. But please feel free to just double-check your bits of paper 
okay because we're looking at two areas today now what i've actually done is put as much into this as i can so i'm probably going right up to the hour if you um have any questions please feel free to uh, just put them in the comment section because i can get to them so i'll do as much interactive as i can but i'm also going to be very much focused on what i want to achieve so i've got two areas basically of mindset at the moment that i'm going to work with number one is the peak performance mindset this is helping every athlete to get in the zone when it matters when it counts okay so let's think about this when you go to a race meet you don't need to be in the zone when you're in the pits you don't need to be in the zone when you're walking around the car or the cart or whatever you're in you don't need to be in the zone when you need to be in the zone is pretty much when you hop in the car so what's happening externally is all potential distraction the best drivers are the ones that can simply go internal as soon as they hop in the car and by what i mean there is when you go internal it stops any excess thoughts any excess distractions if you're constantly being distracted externally your brain is picking up all these thoughts which then go into a action and reaction if you start to second guess and doubt yourself and getting nervous that's because you don't believe and trust in yourself so what we're going to work on is helping you to set this peak performance state We've got an hour, so what we're doing is doing whatever I can and the best I can in this one hour to help you to start rewiring your brain and start these, these incredible processes that I've got to help you start to rewire your brain. Okay, so let's just get into this. Okay, so peak performance mindset is one thing I'm going to work on. The first thing I'm going to focus on is mental health. Mental health right now is critical. We're in this, and you're probably younger kids watching this, you're in this time and this space where this is probably never going to happen to you in your lifetime. This is a time and space where it hasn't happened in our lifetime either. So we need to be aware of what's going on. Now, there's so many specialists out there saying fear, everything is all about fear-based, this COVID-19 is building up a lot of fear. Fear by a lot of specialists, what they're saying is fear is this false evidence or false experiences appearing real the thing is at this moment it's not false what you're feeling is true the experiences that are happening are all true who you are as a person how you're responding how you're behaving and reacting to certain stimulus that's true you can't change this and you can't actually say well it's false because what you're thinking how you're reacting how you're responding is relevant to you based on the programs that you're actually running so when you think about your mind, you're up here in this what we call the conscious part of your mind. You're only 3 to 5% of how you're thinking, acting, behaving. So you are governed by all these programs that are operational underneath. Number one is survival, protection, protecting you from potential hurt, potential harm, physically and emotionally. So we've got this massive uh, dilemma and conflict by going, yeah, this is who I want to be on here, but you've got these programs that are operational under here. The best thing to help you right now in this state is to simply be aware of what's going on, to accept what's happening, to understand that what is going on right now, it's real. It's real. You can't fake this. This is this is reality. I use the, I guess, the, the question and the example when I'm um, doing seminars or workshops with larger audiences because this is the number one thing that's always stopping us is fear. So when you think of fear, it's quite a simple process. Fear, let's use it this way. Can you have a fear of sharks where you're sitting at the moment? Okay, can you have a fear of sharks? Probably not, because there's nothing around you. If you're standing on the beach, remember you're standing on the sand on the beach. If you're standing on the beach, can you have a fear of sharks? Probably not. If you've in the water, you're up to here in water and there's a shark hanging off your leg. Is that a fear? No, it's a reality. So think about fear. Fear is only created in our mind based on potentially what could happen based on the factors and the influences that we understand. So fear is not false. It's not evidence. It's not appearing real because it actually feels real at that time. So fear is just your mind going, hey, look, this could potentially be a problem. You've been through this in the past. This could create this. Therefore, I'll attach this emotion to it. Fear is only going to be present when you experience something to potentially hurt you or harm you physically or emotionally. So there's a lot of fears going on right now. To help you, what I've got you to do on that bit of paper that I sent document-wise, okay, it's all about acceptance. 
Okay, it's about awareness. Your mind is incredibly powerful when you can use it properly. And every athlete that I work with, 38 world champions and these drivers, Jackson Evans, uh, Matt Campbell, Hunter McElray, most, a lot of the junior Porsche factory drivers in the GT3 Cup Challenge and the Carrera Cup now, I'm working with those guys. So I kind of know how to get the best out of these guys. So awareness of how your mind is, how powerful you actually are. So right now, let's come back to awareness. Okay, you're drivers, but you're not driving anywhere. So let's use this time to help you project yourself and become a better person while you can. So this uh, summit is incredibly powerful, incredibly well-timed to help you. So the solution to mental health, okay, if you focus on now, if you focus on all the negativity, you're going to have this big downward spiral and you're going to crash quite a simple process. So the solution is by looking beyond this time. So we're going to look beyond this time. So who are you when you come out of this? The stock market has had some very horrific days. If you look at it, it's kind of gone bang, crash. So most people at this point of time are going, oh, freak out, freak out. What are they doing? They're pulling the money out. But if you were an investor, this is the perfect time. You just dropped by 50% you would be putting everything you can. You'd be investing right now because when this bounces back up, it's going to be massive. So this is what you need to do now. Use this time to invest in yourself, physically, emotionally, mentally. This is a time where you really need to be going, right, let's just really maximise the time here. So then when we are given this opportunity to bounce back into racing, you're going to be ahead of everyone else. Okay, let's call it being ahead of the curve. Everyone else is talking about flattening the curve. Let's talk about becoming better and becoming ahead of the curve. So then when we do take off again, you're going to be the one that's going, that everyone's going to be chasing, going, what's going on? Who are these people? Where do they come from? Why are they suddenly winning and changing everything and getting really good results? Okay, so to help you through the, I guess, the awareness and everything that's going on right now, okay, I'm calling this a split personality. Okay, so on this bit of paper you've got, you go down there, you'll see split piece, split um, personality underneath there, a bit of paper. So what I need from you is a bit of paper. Quite simple, draw a line straight down the middle. Simple. Got that? Good. Okay. If there's any questions, please feel free to just drop them in there, not on the messenger, because that's as soon as I come out of that one, I'm losing all these ones underneath me. So this first list I need is a list of positives. Okay, so what I need from you is just every thought at the moment, every emotion, every experience. So let's, for example, go, I'm stuck at home. Is that a positive or is that a negative? So you write stuck at home. If, if, it's, a, if it's a positive, you write it in the positive list. Okay, if it's a negative, you write it in the negative list. Okay, then go to the next thought down. So what you want is one thought per line, not one over here and not one over here. Okay, so one thought per line. The second thought could be, I'm away from my friends. Okay, that you might think is a negative. Okay, number three could be no racing. Number four could be, I have time to myself. Okay, that could be a positive. Time to myself could also be a negative if people look at it. So what I need is a complete listing of a negative thought, a positive, positive. Next one could be negative but only do one per line. See where we're going with this? Okay, so what we're going to be creating is every thought you've currently got, every action, every behaviour that you're experiencing, what I need is just listing them, okay? If it comes up as a negative wording and terminology, okay, you put it in the negative list. If it comes up as I'm really enjoying this time away from school, time away from my friends, time where I can focus on my simulator driving, time to rebrand myself, that then becomes a positive. Okay, and basically just keep going until you've got one per line, either negative or positive down there. That's pretty much what we're looking for. You don't necessarily have to do it all today or right now. This is something you can do over the next week or so. But in theory, what we're going to end up with is a complete list of every thought, every action, every behaviour. Now, how our brains work is we tend to... Uh, have our brains wired according to intentions and emotions. And at the moment, if you're running 50-50, positive and negative, okay, you're going to have a lot of inner conflict in your head. 
So what we need to do is kind of split that to go, right, let's get rid of all the negatives. And let's just focus on the positives. Okay. So what we're going to do here is say, for example, can you, someone in there write a, in the chat, just write something that's a negative for you at the moment. And I'll show you exactly how we work this process. Okay. Can if someone can type that in for me? Just a negative thought and negative action, negative feeling that you might be having right now. Awesome. It's got a bit of a delay, so all good. Just send them, send them through when you can. Okay. Right. Miss racing. Okay. Thanks, Nora. Uh, Brett, not racing. Seb, not racing. Yep. Sounds about right. Being away from the track. Okay. So what we've got there, these are all, if I'm looking at this, I'm going, right, that's a negative. That's a negative. So what we're doing is, yep, miss racing, miss racing, no racing. Okay. So let's just call it this way. Okay. That first negative is no racing. Okay. So that's where you're right. No racing in that. Okay, now it's a bit of a scribble, but that's what we're doing. Uh, Leanne, not able to take photos of racing. Okay, so that's one of your negatives, Leanne. Okay, so now what we look at is let's see how we can spin this no racing into a positive. Okay, so, okay, who was the first one that basically said no racing? Okay, or miss racing. Okay, Nora, what I'm asking for you is how can you turn that statement for miss racing into a positive. So what is it you can do in your own mind to go, right, okay, I miss racing, which means bang in a positive. Okay. You could reword it in saying that looking forward to racing, can't wait to get back to racing. Okay. Okay. Flynn, thanks very much. Doubts of obtaining sponsorships as well. Yeah. Because it's pretty tough times. There's a lot of um, financial businesses that are just tightening everything up. So the money is not going to be as free. So I caught the tail end of Stephen's presentation. So to get the money, you're going to have to really stand out a lot more than what may have happened in the past. Okay. So what we're looking for. Okay, Nora, how are we going there? Can you find some way or someone else that can spin no racing into a positive? Okay, no racing means what? Okay, we can stop, we can refocus on ourselves, we can focus on health, we can focus on everything else. Focusing on not being able to race, think about uh, if you haven't been going as well in your racing. Okay, this is a good time to stop, refocus, readjust your targets, readjust physically, emotionally, your, your exercise, your eating, and then when you do get back out, you know you're going to get maximum benefit. Okay, so change that no racing into looking forward to racing okay so every positive that we've got okay so now this negative we're going to start moving it across and we're going to start writing this list of positives so if it's already positive stick with a positive if it's a negative how can we spin that into a positive wording into a positive statement then we drag that across into this okay so you can see what we're doing here we're starting to create for you a list of positives with every thought, every action. Okay. Now, what we're going to be doing with this, you're now going to have, eventually, you're going to have a whole list of positives. This becomes very, very powerful. Okay. So simple. You've heard about split personalities. Okay. That's exactly how people work. Okay. Mia, awesome. Chance to learn more about yourself and how can improve person and the driver so that is fantastic really appreciate that thanks Mia so that instead of not racing now it becomes this is your chance to learn more about yourself how you can improve as a person and what you're going to do to improve as a person and also how you can improve as a driver okay so while you're missing racing great now you can set back you can focus on friends you can focus on reconnecting to family you can focus on the things that you haven't been able to do like get more sponsors do all the work that you're currently doing at the moment so what we're doing now by doing this is simply creating a list of now positives okay there's our negatives what we've just done is split the page and we've moved all our thoughts and our processes now into a positive word process 
a positive listing of the person that we are. Someone who's now focused on what we, a chance to learn more about yourself, a chance to focus on nutrition, a chance to get better physically, a chance to work in your branding, a chance to get some videos done, a chance to get some Instagram posts going up. Okay, This is now becoming the ultimate version of you. So you've now got a positive list of the positive traits of yourself that are happening at this moment. It's a very, very powerful process. Now, to help you even more, what I'm going to get you to do, because everyone's got one of these, everyone's got a mobile phone, correct? So what I'm going to get you to do is, does everyone know how to use a voice memo or voice recorder on your phone? Okay, and if you say, I don't like the sound of my own voice, guess what? You write that on your negative list and then turn it across to, love the sound of my voice because it's going to help me win a title. Quite simple. Okay, so let's just double check how we're going there. No more comments. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to get you to do is go on your mobile phone and do a voice recording. Quite simple. Just bear with me one moment. Just going in as well. Voice memos. Okay, you can see a list of all mine because I do this exactly for myself. New recordings. I've got all sorts of things in there. So what I'm going to do. Okay, so give me an example. If, you, if you're okay with this, Mia, I'm just going to use you as, as an example. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the record button. I am now Mia. Hi, I'm Mia Bolton. I'm an incredible driver. I looking forward to driving my next race. In this time of COVID-19, it gave me a great opportunity to stop, refocus on what's important for my driving, for my health, my happiness, reconnecting with friends and family. Everything I did from today, I worked on my nutrition. I focused on what the best in the world are doing with where I want to go. I really focused on me, my driving and who I intend to be, who my new branding is getting my videos happening, starting aligning my social media now to everything that I'm doing based on the person I'm becoming. So I caught the tail end of Stevens, which is about the superhero. Okay, so who is this superhero? They're fast. Okay, so you now start using these traits as you. Fast, powerful, focused. As soon as my helmet goes on, bang, instantly in the zone. When I hop in the car, when I hop in the car, I just feel relaxed, feel focused, feel at ease, trust myself. Okay, so I've just stopped that. Okay, so here's a one minute recording for Mia. And what I'm going to do is play this back to everyone. And you're going to be able to understand exactly what I'm doing. As the phone locks me out. Hi, I'm Mia Bolton. I'm an incredible driver. I looking forward to driving my next race. In this time of COVID-19, it gave me a great opportunity to stop, refocus on what's important for my driving, for my health, my happiness, reconnecting with friends and family. Everything I did from today, I worked on my nutrition. Okay, got the hang? Understand what we're doing there? So what I want you to do is this list of positives, the ultimate version of yourself. Start building in the traits of the superhero that you can be. Because when you think about it, what are you wearing when you hop in the car or cart? Okay, what are you doing? Okay, you've got the boots on, you've got the outfit, you've got the mask, you put the helmet on. According to so many kids, you're like a superhero, 10 foot tall, bulletproof. Okay, so that's your superhero suit. Okay, what are the traits of the superhero? Able to do this chilled, relaxed, focus, hop in the car, aggressive, bang, 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 hitting the brake markers, hitting the apex, the throttle, everything else, perfect data. Okay, so if you read through this positive list of the person that you're going to be, okay, and it takes you a minute to read it and expand on it, like I just did, if that takes you five minutes to read it, I want you to read it four times because what we're looking for is a 20 minute recording. Yes, 20 minute recording, and it doesn't take long because I've taken 22 minutes already. We want a 20 minute recording, which is talking about you, your traits, the person that you are. We're spinning everything negative that's currently existing in our lives into a positive. We're now starting to build this into a recording. If we read it four times, what happens? We're now creating a 20 minute, almost like a guided meditation. So every day, turn this thing on 20 minutes and listen. Because what this is actually doing is now rewiring your brain to help you to become calm, relaxed, excited about racing, positive, 
bulletproof, knowing that when you hop in the car, this is what's going to happen. Focused on your branding, focused on your racing, focused on the school, focused on relationships and communication. And guess what you've got there? You've got one of the most powerful tools that's ever been introduced to you. This is what my world champions are doing. If you don't want to do it, if you think it's a little bit strange and a little bit weird, don't do it. But I can guarantee this is what the world champions are doing because I know because they're doing it. So you're going to have now a 20 minute recording of the ultimate version of you. Remember, this is in your wording, your terminology, based on your positives in life, in your voice going directly into your head. And when you close your eyes and you listen to this for 20 minutes, you're actually going into almost a meditative state. When you go into this meditative state, your mind is free from the emotions and it becomes very logical and it will start taking up these changes so it becomes almost like a rewiring program. Okay, you cannot do any damage. You're basically rewiring yourself by going, this is the ultimate version of me. You're listening to it on the, on the phone every day and it's becoming so ingrained that that's the person you're working towards. Okay, how does that sound? So what we're doing is we're basically taking all the negativity at the moment in your life, spinning it into a positive, okay, so negativity, spinning it into a positive, we're recording all this, then you listen to this, so basically here is now, it's not a split personality now, is it? Everything you're doing and thinking is based on being positive. So who is the person that's coming at us? So when the doors open again and you can go to a racetrack, you're going to be ahead of everyone else. Okay, everyone else is still going to be going, oh, but I haven't done much. I haven't really focused on it. You're going to be up and you're going to be out. What I've got for athletes at the moment and what I've got them doing for these these other athletes I work with that are working towards the Olympics that were meant to be on this year, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't believe how much and how much work they're doing behind the scenes right now. Okay, you think the world has switched off. They have switched on and they're going harder. Okay, so if you're not doing something as far as mindset and getting yourself ready, you're going to be left behind when you're back on track. Okay, so comments there. Thank you, Stella. That's fantastic. Yes, it is. Okay, all I'm doing is just helping you through this. You can choose to use these processes. You can choose not to, but this is something that's incredibly powerful. It helps rewire your mind. Okay, so let's get back. I'm just going to get back into this image. Uh, where are we going now? So that's that split personality. You can understand why split, negative, positive. We're spinning everything into a positive. Okay, then you record that section. comes straight into your ears, straight into your eyes, straight into your heart, straight into that neural pathways and starts rewiring you for success. Okay. Okay, so we've got some good stuff coming through here. Um Okay, Leanne, thank you very much. Awesome. That's my word. Okay, everything I do, that's where I aim to be. Awesome. Okay, so what we're doing next, if everyone has got their helmets available, this is what I do with little people like Matt Campbell, Jackson Evans, Hunter McElroy, uh, Ryan Sewell, who else have I got there? Harry Jones, all these Porsche drivers. Okay, I've been working with them for years, and this is exactly what they do. So make sure you've got the helmets beside you. Now, on this bit of paper, okay, you have... It's got there. Please make, make sure your helmet's available. This is under the list of positives and negatives that you're seeing. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Out of here. Another little thing there called anchoring. Anchoring is basically capturing emotions. What we're going to be able to do is capture emotions. So underneath there, there's four things that I want you to capture. Okay, so let's get out of dealing with the mental aspect of this COVID-19. Now start rewiring you for success. So when your helmet goes on, you're going to know it. So the most relaxed. Okay, so what I need is in that little paper, bit of paper, bit, bit of a line next to there on that bit of paper that you've got. Where are you most relaxed? Is it at home, sitting there in your bedroom watching videos? Is it sitting in your car? Is it on the beach? Is it on holidays? Is it sleeping? Is it just resting? Is it talking to friends? Where are you most relaxed? And I want you to write that down. Okay, write that down in that little section. Where are you most relaxed? Okay, the next bit under there, the best experience in motorsport. Okay, this may not be the best win. The best experience might be going to Bathurst. It might be watching the Formula One racing. Okay, your best experience might be your first drive in a car. So write down your best experience in motorsport. Section underneath that, best result. Okay, the best result, it may not be starting from the front and finishing from the front. It might be starting from the back and finishing second. 
what is your best result? Okay, and write that one down because everyone knows your best result. Okay, if you need to go back two, three, four years, do that. Not a problem. If you've only just started, okay, your best result is probably your best ever experience in motorsport. Okay, then the next one is the dream. What do you want to be known for? Okay, so Stella, I know Alex is pretty much out there. I know he's got a dream. What is it? Mia Bolton, what's yours? Nora, what's yours? Seb, what's your dream? Is it V8s? Is it Formula One? Put your comments down there. Love to see it. Okay, be open, be honest, be proud. If you knew you couldn't fail, what is it you want to do? I don't care if I see 15 names with Formula One on it because it just means that you've got the ability, you've got the dream. And I can guarantee, okay, Lewis Hamilton didn't think when he won his, what, fourth, fifth world title that he said, oh, I never thought this would happen. Okay, because I can guarantee, because there's a brilliant interview when he was just winning go-karts, when he said, oh, can you imagine yourself driving Formula One? Yep. Okay, there was never any question. There was never any doubt. Can everyone be the world number one? Probably not. But the only thing that's going to stop you is you stopping on that dream. So write down what it is you want to achieve. What is your dream? Is it front row at Bathurst? Seb, supercars, perfect. Okay, so these also become on your little bit of paper. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yep, Alex, yep, supercars, perfect. Okay, narrow this down. Seb, Aaron, and Alex, what team? What team are you going to drive for? Don't just say, I want to be in supercars. Narrow it down. Let's get this vision really, really focused. Nora, okay, Xavier wants to be competing open wheel racing all over Europe. Perfect. I've got one over there at the moment. It's racing in, or well, should have been racing in Formula Renault. Okay, so if you knew you couldn't fail, write it down. Tyson, V8, perfect. Okay, what team, Fiona? What team is he going to be on? Okay, who does he want to drive for? Okay, is it Triple Eight? Is it Shell V Power? Formula Ford, okay, perfect. Erebus, perfect. Okay, know some of those guys there. Penske, perfect. So see what we're doing now? We're starting to narrow it down, okay? How, how hard is it to actually say to people, right, I'm going to be v for Seb. How many times have you gone out and said to someone, I'm going to be a V8 racer and I'm going to be driving for the Team Penske? Okay. Alex, great. Guess what? Seb, you're going to be racing Alex. He's in Red Bull. <laughs> I love doing this. This is great. Okay, so what we've got now is you've got your bit of paper, correct? You've got the most relaxed. You've got your best experience. You've got your best win. And now you've got another Triple Eight racer. Perfect. Okay, and now we've got the dream. All of these four factors are now creating emotions okay so this is the interesting thing this is what i'm going to do okay this is probably going to take 10 to 15 minutes but i can guarantee it's going to transform how you are now this is interesting because i normally do this face to face okay mia formula one or v8s narrow it down me if you had a choice of one which one is it okay don't start splitting it because you've got two different goals you have two different focal points what you need to do to V8s versus Formula 1s, totally different. So narrow it down and just choose one. Okay, Aaron, boys want to be supercar race engineers. Perfect. Okay, narrow it down. Which team again? Okay, so what I want you to do now is, if you've got your helmets available, okay, Okay, what I need you is get your helmets available. This is going to be pretty powerful. Now, you might need to turn your volume up. Don't put your helmet on yet. Leave them right next to you or sitting on your lap. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be flying blind against each other at the moment. Okay, because I'm going to be going through this. I'm not going to be watching any of these comments going through. And like everyone listening to this, when you're integrated in part of this. Okay, so I need those four lists. So those four things so you know you're most relaxed so just take a moment just take a deep breath in just close your eyes okay I'm going to be guiding you through this so just keep your eyes closed parents if you're next to them that's good just keep an eye on them okay everything is going to be internal thoughts you're not going to be watching what's going on you're not going to be seeing what's going on but again make sure your helmet's either sitting on your lap or right next to you where you know you can grab it with your eyes still closed 
Okay, so what I need you to do, make sure that you're all got your eyes closed. So what I want you to do is just sit there at the moment. If you can hold on to your helmet, if you can touch your helmet by the sides, I want you to just close your eyes and just put yourself in that experience and most relaxed you can be. Remember, it could be at the beach, it could be on holidays, it could be in the bedroom. As soon as you have your eyes closed and you're holding on to that helmet, just touching it on the outside for now. Just close your eyes and get into that feeling, get into that zone of knowing how relaxed you are. Notice your breathing slowing down, your heartbeat slowing down, you start noticing all the sounds around you, probably notice a bit of flickering and bouncing in your eyes. Just, just breathe and relax and just breathe and relax and feel that relaxation like you are sitting in your bedroom, like you are on holidays, like you are on the beach. Just feel nice and relaxed. And while you're doing that, you just keep playing that one over, playing that one over, playing that one over, that simple relaxed sensation. Then the next thing I want you to do is the memory. Memory of that best ever experience in motorsport. So while you're feeling nice and relaxed, imagine whether it is watching the Formula One Grand Prix, whether it is standing in the front row of Bathurst, whether it is meeting someone, one of your idols in sport, maybe it was your first race. You wrote it down, so you just write that it's listing down and going, right, that was my best ever experience in motorsport with your eyes closed, touching your helmet. You've got that nice, relaxed sensation flowing. Now what we've got, we're going to build onto that. We're going to put that nice, strong experience, that real energy into this is the best experience in motorsport. The best experience in motorsport. And as you remember that, build up the feelings, build up the emotions, the sound, the colours, the sights. While you're doing that, keep your eyes closed. So we've now got the nice and relaxed sensation. We've got the best ever experience. Now I want you to remember, again, your best ever result. Your best ever result. Remember that best ever result. So what we're thinking about now is thinking, right, that best ever result, how it felt. How were you in the car, in the cart, in the car, on the bike? Were you relaxed? How did it all flow? Did you notice your breathing was nice and relaxed? Did it almost feel like the car was doing itself, like everything was just working incredibly well, like almost mechanical? There was no thinking. There was no analysing. You just got out there and smashed it. Whether you felt calm and relaxed, you might have felt aggressive. You might have felt really driven. You might have been chasing from the back of the pack. You might have been making your way out the front. Remember, the best experience, this is the best win or the best result you've ever had the best result again it could be from start to finish it could be from last to second whatever this best result was for you just keep your eyes closed just breathe it in feel it within your chest your head your heart your stomach you probably even start noticing it in your hands you start probably your breathing building maybe it's slowing down but as we've now got the most relaxed, we've now got the best ever experience, we've now got your best result, now I want you to fast track yourself. Fast track yourself driving for Formula One Red Bull. Fast track yourself working with the Super Formula in Tom's Racing. Fast, fast forward yourself to be race engineers for whatever team. Fast form yourself to be either Formula One or Erebus Motorsport, Triple Eight, Red Bull. Imagine yourself now part of that team. Imagine sitting in the car, sitting in the front row of Bathurst, if that's your thing. Imagine if it's Monaco Grand Prix. Imagine if you're over in Europe driving the, driving the Porsches. Okay. Imagine that the Super Formula Champion. Okay. Maybe you want to be in the Formula Fords. Put yourself in that and just feel it. Imagine what it's like with that helmet on, sitting in the car for the first time, sitting in the front row of Bathurst. If you can imagine Formula One, imagine what it'd be like. Okay, so who's my Formula One people? Mia. Okay, simple. Just imagine. Imagine what it'd be like to be on the podium. Imagine that bottle of champagne spraying it all over Verstappen or whoever you might want to be racing. Feel those feelings, build it up within yourself, feel your heart opening up, feel that confidence opening up. Okay? When you've got this, take a few nice deep breaths in, nice big deep breaths in, breathing in that relaxing, breathing in the best ever result, breathing in the best ever experience now, breathing in, imagining having succeeded in the future, being on that team, winning the championship, spraying the champagne, breathing it all in and just building it, building it and building it. When you've got it, take a nice big deep breath in, keep your eyes closed and just reach across onto your lap or to wherever your helmet is and just reach up and put your helmet on. As soon as you put your helmet on, just take another big deep breath in, just breathe it in, just build that big deep breath in, building it in. 
secure your helmet if you can keep the visor open or if you want to close the visor if that's how you race best what I need you to do is just keep your eyes closed just keep your eyes closed I just want you to breathe in and breathe out the most relaxed just feel how relaxed you are and then imagine yourself that best ever experience now going yeah this is it imagine you can go into the future to be standing on the podium spraying champagne being in the front row of Bathurst and looking back to today and just thinking that this is it because next time this helmet goes on all these emotions are going to be there because what we're creating through these emotions as soon as you put your helmet on you go internally the helmet protects your mind from external thoughts your helmet is protecting your mind because remember you've now only got the positives within you you've only got the positives in you because your little recording every day says how positive you are how driven you are how focused you are how successful you are no matter what's happening in the pits no matter what's happening around in sport or life or this COVID thing every time your helmet goes on even now in a simulator put your helmet on and you'll feel the instant calmness every time you put that helmet on it's faster quicker deeper every time after time after time so feel how relaxed you are because next time you're hopping the car next time you're hopping the simulator next time you're on the boat on the bike or in a cart as soon as this helmet goes on now it's going to be bang instant 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 relaxing deeping your breathing is going to slow down your heartbeat's going to slow down your confidence is going to build the aggression is going to build if you need it but you'll actually feel yourself just sinking into the chair becoming almost part of the ma machine part of the machine you'll just become mechanical get this feeling in there when you've got it you'll know you'll know because it actually feels like you're there you'll have this nice little gentle nod of your head to go yep yeah, this is it so when you're ready remember this time this is just experience you're going to have to test this a few times your helmet's going to come off it's going to go back on it's going to come off it's going to go back on but it's going to be faster quicker deeper every time so when you're ready take a nice big deep breath in just gradually drift back and open up your eyes and when you're ready okay nice big deep breaths in open up your eyes and when you're ready just that's right drift back and allow yourself to open your eyes feel nice and relaxed and then when you're ready just a helmet off and just put it beside you helmet off and put it beside you okay just everyone there just making sure that you're all nice and awake nice and relaxed focused but feeling you'll be feeling different you'll be feeling amazing be feeling amazing so if anyone wants to share their experience just in the comments please feel free now just letting you know this one hour it's probably well, close to about two-thirds of what I would do for a normal consult consultation with someone so Belinda's been very open very kind and you're for a fraction of the price price you're getting all this information now this is exactly what the champions Matt Campbell Jackson Evans Hunter McElroy all those Porsche juniors okay this is what they're doing this is the same as what they're doing that's why they become successful because they've got this ability to take this doubt this fear out of their mind put it aside put the helmet on okay so if there's any comments any questions perfect like I said that was amazing it does feel different yep you can't help but not feel different with this one Stella it's an incredible experience you'll be able to see it in his eyes if you didn't already if the visor was up okay you'll be able to see that real fixed focused almost I've got this stare okay you know when you see a lot of athletes on TV and they go, they've got this real focus they've got their eyes glazed over it's almost like become a little bit opaque that's exactly that in the zone experience that we've just created for Alex and every one of you okay please feel free if there's any other comments there go for it jot them down I'm just very cautious of the time we've got a good 18 minutes <laughs> well, 17 minutes very shortly okay there's a lot more I want to get through okay what I might do as well I'll just start talking now so if there's any more comments please drop them in there if there's any questions um, please drop them in there as well I'm gonna do my best to get to what I'd also like to now cover is while you have time okay because our our unconscious mind our mind is incredibly powerful okay I've already done this and I've shared this with one of the Facebook lives so if anyone's been through that before and we mention YouTube there's a process I've been busy refining okay yep got that thanks Stella yep 
feels switched on and ready to race. Fantastic, Oliver. That's all we need to do. Your homework is just keep putting that helmet on, getting into those four emotional states, combining them all, taking your helmet off, okay? Get into a nice, relaxed state. Bang, put your helmet back on, and you'll find be quicker, faster, deeper every time, and you'll be ready to race every time because this is now going to be a consistent thought process, consistent emotions, and a consistent process. You're going to get consi consistent results on the racetrack, okay? bearing mechanical issues and other people who don't use this process who run you off the track because it happens okay so we're going to get back onto a your tube okay while if there's parents there okay you're going to love this one because while kids are on youtube we're going to make them better drivers okay our unconscious mind doesn't understand if we are actually doing something or just imagining it okay there's there's a, um, a document that I'll send through to Belinda, which she's already got, which is it's already been refined through um, one of the Facebook lives we did for Motivate Training. Now, this process, YouTube or your tube, is about using YouTube to help you rewire your brain. Okay, as I said before, your mind doesn't know if it's actually imagining something or physically doing it. So when you see the simulators, what are we actually simulating? And what's interesting is when I started working with Matt Campbell, I said, well, you got a simulator. He said, yeah, it's out in the back shed. I said, what do you wear when you are on it? And he said, shorts, T-shirt. I said, don't you wear your full race gear? He goes, no. I said, well, how can it be a simulation? Okay, think about it. You need to be starting to simulate everything. Every part of this is not just getting to understand the track. It's getting to understand you as a person. Now, I've done this with uh, McElroy Racing on the Gold Coast and the Porsche Carrera Cup guys and the GT3s. Okay, they sit in the simulator. I can do a session with them. Okay, we'll get them straight off, put their helmet on, put them on the simulator, and they can be dropping by 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a second per lap and consistently because of that same reason. Now, the simulator situation, what we're going to be doing is using YouTube videos. Okay, so I don't actually have one up and running, but imagine watching YouTube videos and as you do I want you to find something that resembles either your best ever race or who is the if you go karting okay who is the world champion simple okay so what we're looking at doing <laughs> I'm just looking at these little comments they're great uh, Leanne very powerful Xavier is feeling re relaxed yeah absolutely so the best in the world who is the best of oh, the formula one driver who's the best kart racer find someone that's the top of their game in racing the race or the car or the cart that you're currently racing if it's you if you've had a brilliant race and everything else has been a bit inconsistent go back to this brilliant race if you've got it on youtube video it is brilliant okay it's a three-step process i'm very aware of time the first step is you sit there and you watch these videos you watch the video five times oops that Five times you watch your video five times you watch it watch it watch it watch it and watch every lap and watch every component of it whether it's the feet whether it's the hands whether it's the body posture of the cart racer maybe something else I want you to watch it and become that familiar with it you know what's going on now what happens the next step okay you might have, might not even notice but the next step we're going to imagine this is not you watching that video but you watching yourself okay so you now position yourself into that car into that experience but you're sitting here it's what we call detached sitting here and watching yourself and if you're sitting there nice and relaxed with the feet on the ground your arms just rested if you're watching these youtube videos you'll actually feel twitching of your muscles okay so what we're actually doing there is as the driver is twitching if you kind of feel yourself go their behavior their technique is now starting to be picked up by your mind and you're now starting to train your muscles in exactly the same way that they race so you're now starting to change your technique and rewire your technique to suit now what i'm going to do i'll see if i can find this video very quickly i'm sure this won't take long i'm just finding just bear with me a second Albums, videos. Okay, now if you're unsure about the power of this, okay, let me find. Okay. Okay, now I'll just see how it goes. I know this is showing a video of Beach at the moment, but the next one I want you to look down straight down the bottom here. This is one of the Porsche Carrera Cup guys. 
okay, doing exactly the same. He's holding onto his phone, but you watch his fingers. He's doing this. What do you think is changing? Changing gear. You look at his feet. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, so this is exactly what I'm going to show you. This is the power of visualizing. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm just going to do that again. Watch the feet straight away. See the breathing? To the mouth, core strength, changing gear on the paddles. That's exactly what he's doing. So what we're doing now is teaching how to do this. So what Harry was actually doing there is watching a, a video of himself racing. Okay? And as, as you can see, he wasn't even aware of his feet. I had that on fast motion. He wasn't aware of his feet doing this. Okay, because you're not feeling it. But his mind believes he's racing, changing gear, changing pedals. So he's now starting to rewire himself and the data based on data, based on everything else, based on the perfect race. This is how you can rewire your mind while you don't have the ability to hop in the car. If you don't have a simulator, you don't need to. You just need your phone and YouTube videos. Find something that's relevant to your race, and I'll get this document sent through that you can actually have access to. So it's a three-step process. Number one, you're watching the video. Number two, you're watching yourself. The third component is you are imagining yourself in the car while you're doing this, okay? And if you think to sit there watching it and your fingers are doing this while you're watching a video, when you're imagining you're actually in there, okay, the phone and everything is going to be changing and moving. Okay, this incredibly powerful process, and I will send that document through. Um, oh, it looks like Belinda might have already uploaded that, I think. I can't really tell. I've got so many things going on, on the screen at the moment. So what I want to do for the last 10 minutes is just open it up to everyone. If you've got any questions, um, please feel free to drop them in there. Happy to answer them. In the meantime, on that bit of paper as well, if anyone is interested, I do have an eight-week online program. What I've done is give a special discount to all uh, Motivate people for, or even also this driver, uh, Junior Driver Summit, online summit. Okay, 50% reduction off the price of this. Okay, this is available only through um, uh, the link that I think Belinda will probably put up. If we can put up that link, Belinda, that would be awesome. So Belinda is graciously supporting myself and the, the as the athlete secret weapon okay and an online program if you're looking at it it's normally 495 us but it comes down to what does it end up being about 247 us dollars so if you can look at the exchange rate being about 50 percent okay so about 50 percent on top of that um okay erin yeah quick one yeah do you have any suggestions for those who struggle with visualizations yeah the youtube process is probably as powerful as what you can do um you've also got to look at depending if this is yourself erin or for anyone else you may not be a visual person okay you may be more an analytical person i've had drivers that they can sit there and read the data Okay, and have exactly the same experience with their feet. So you probably find that people have trouble visualizing. Okay, you probably find a better approach is to write things down. Uh, not even, well, to some extent, yeah, close your eyes and imagine how it would probably feel. Work more on feelings. Okay, a good thing to do is if you get nervous in your stomach or up in your chest, close your eyes and rather than trying to visualize fear, imagine just reaching in and pulling out that sensation and throwing it. Okay, then you're actually getting out, bang, and throwing it, getting it out and throwing it. So you're actually removing the nerves. Okay, um, so that may help you. Also, what you can do, just email me because there's quite a few things that can be done for those who are not as good with visualizing. Okay, but it's also visualising the right way. Okay, when I say to people, don't think of a red hammer. Don't think of a blue car. Don't think of a yellow motorbike. Okay, a lot of people have trouble visualising because they're taught the wrong way. When you focus and go, right, imagine now a red car, that's exactly what we're looking for. 
Okay. Um, Erin, Erin, the kids struggle with pretending in, aut in autism. Yeah, autism is, is, is very much like that. I've worked with a lot of kids in that respect. The great thing about autism, they're incredibly knowledgeable. They are incredibly intelligent people. As you know, it's, it's the way that they find what works for them. Okay. There is no pretending within autism. I get that. But it's how they best learn. It's probably visual. Um, you can, um, what's the best way to go about this? If you just had potentially a list of positives, I'm a great racer when I hop in the car, this is what it is, then it's all black and white, it's all logical, it's all in sequence, it all makes sense because it's making sense in their world. Potentially this is probably more powerful than the YouTube version because they're not pretending because this is the real for them. Uh, happy to give you a bit more advice uh, on probably offline if you want to, but we can certainly work that way. Um, thank you. That's great. Thanks, Aaron. Really appreciate that. I also wanted to ask, where is the limit when you think you don't want to overthink the situation? I also want to ask, where is the limit when you are thinking? I don't want to overthink the situation. Well, that just proves to me, Flynn, you're an analytical person. Thinking about thinking, overthinking about thinking. Okay, this is what we do. We start coming back and just trusting. Okay. What do you mean by where, where is the limit when you don't, uh, when you are thinking? I don't want to overthink the situation. Okay, so let me re reword that again. If you are thinking about performance and thinking about breaking, you're what we call very conscious. Okay, we need to stop. You need to slow down. You need to put that helmet on and trust. Okay, neural pathways. Okay, if anyone's got a tennis ball, okay, it's simple. Do you know how many calculations happen between there and there? That's one second. Okay, Flynn, there's 3,000 neural pathways that fire at that moment to catch the ball and effectively. So when you are thinking about, I need to catch the ball, it's like having your eyes closed and trying to catch it. <coughs> See what I mean? So what we've got to do is rather than overthinking it, step back into trust. Put your helmet on, okay, and trust that. So I'm just running through these very quickly. I hope that helps. Okay, we don't want you thinking. When you're in the zone, when you have that moment that everything just flows, you don't think. Okay, we want to get you out of the thinking into trusting, just acting, just reacting on instinct. That's the best result for you. Do you suggest visualising the track while in the car? Absolutely. Seb, um, yeah, if you can go around the track even – because there's so many cameras out there, there's so many things that are going on at the moment, there's going to be some video of whatever track you're going to be on. So do some research, find that track, visualise the track, absolutely. Okay, even if you put your helmet on and visualise it, because then when your helmet's back on, it actually feels like you're already there. Okay, so this is really powerful ways to help. Um, Stella, great. Oh, uh, yeah. Great strategies, thank you. <laughs> Alex has put them into practice. Yeah, I know you will. Um, he's like a little sponge, that kid, from just what I've seen. So keep doing what you're doing, Alex. You're doing a great job. Uh, well, there's nothing else there. I'll come back to you, Seb. Do you suggest visualising the track? Absolutely. Um, the, the benefit of visualising the track is, once again, you can almost imagine having your eyes closed with your helmet on and be able to do that track at that same time. This is how powerful your mind is. This is how you can use it to best help you. The power of the mind is very much untapped when it comes to sport. And this is what I'm doing. It's leading worldwide within using hypnosis and NLP. There's a reason why I've got 38 world champions. There's a reason why I've got online programs. There's a reason why I'm helping you guys because I just love getting out there and helping people to really push the limits of mind and body. Okay, so where else we got that sensational? Yeah, thanks, Leanne. Awesome tips to work on. Yeah, please um, keep in touch. If there's any questions, uh, send them through Motivate, through through Belinda, and I can certainly respond. I've got a lot of articles, a lot of videos, a lot of information out there, and we'll certainly uh, keep filling, uh, filling you up full of information. So I'm just very aware of timing as well. And my throat... Okay, so if there's any more questions, okay, send them through quickly. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for me. I really appreciate your time. I know it's a Saturday. Okay, I think it's a Saturday. I'm starting to blend in everywhere now. I don't know where I am. But, um, yeah, 
appreciate it. If you're interested in the online program, uh, I'm sure Belinda will put the link up there, 50% off if you're interested. Uh, and for those who do buy, I'll give you a free consultation. So if you're looking at 30 minute to an hour free consultation to help you understand yourself and to help you um, really make the most of this program. Now that is typically valued at $365. So if you're looking at that, that's basically the cost of the program for free. So if you're interested in that, just go through the link that will be on uh, the Motivate training page and we'll probably put it in here as well. So that's the online program. Okay, Flynn, thanks for the tips. Definitely interested in your program. Yep, all good. Uh, yeah, this remember it's an eight-week program, so think about what you can do in the next eight weeks. If, you, if you're looking at racing, we're looking at potentially getting back on track in about eight weeks. It might be an opportunity to get in now and get things happening. Okay, junior development, the link is up. You are awesome. You are wonderful. That's good stuff. Okay, and I'll send that document through for your tube as well. So for those interested in that, we'll have that out for you. And look, if you need to, I'm very aware of time. We've got a whole 57 seconds left. So please send the information through. I'm Stuart Walter, the Athlete Secret Weapon. I'm based in Brisbane. I'm not doing face-to-face -face at the moment. It's all through here in my remote clinic and online. So if anyone's interested, feel free to connect. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, I'm there everywhere. So appreciate it. Thanks very much, Aaron. Thanks, Mia. Thank you, everyone else. And I will say goodbye and have a great rest of the day. It's incredible information and congratulations to Belinda for making it all happen. Take care. Take care. Bye. Hi, guys. Alex Yarn here, go kart racer from Queensland. I've been with Motivate for about a year now and I've definitely benefited from her and her crew. Nutrition social media, sponsorship, and exercise is what she helps me with. She also does mental strength as well. I'm looking forward to my journey ahead with Motivate Training. Well, thanks everyone for listening to this week's show. I really hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Now, remember all the show notes with the links and the specials mentioned in today's show are available over at motivatetraining.com.au. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate if you could head to iTunes or Stitcher, type in Motorsport Coaching, subscribe and leave us a review. Each week, I'll read them out and you'll go into a monthly draw to win a fantastic prize. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at motivatetraining.com.au or head over to our Facebook page at Motivate to Tea. Until next time, take care.